Hi Coronado, I'm Tina Friend, Coronado City Manager, and this is the City Manager's update for the week ending June 16th. Many residents are wondering what is causing the increase in ocean water closures this year. For decades, we've known about the ongoing failures with Mexico's wastewater infrastructure and impacts on the South Bay coastline. Our city has been involved extensively with advocacy to support infrastructure projects to resolve the cross-border water pollution. But this has been an unusual year for ocean closures. A significant reason is the increase in rainfall this year. January through March 2023 were very wet months and our rainfall reflects an almost eight inch increase over that same time last year. This has contributed to record levels of flows in the Tijuana River, causing a lot more water to push pollution into our ocean. Although the rain tapered off to more normal levels in April and May, it still takes a long time for the watershed to drain, resulting in high flows in the Tijuana River occurring months after the bulk of the winter rains ended. The good news is the International Boundary and Water Commission is reporting the flows at the Tijuana River have been decreasing considerably. As the flows began tapering off, important preventive measures are being put in place to reduce the water pollution. Another factor with our ocean access is that the county recently changed its methodology to segment water closures into zones. Previously, a testing sample that exceeded county limits could lead to our coastal waters being closed from South Beach to North Beach. Per the new procedure, only segments of water will be closed. For instance, South Beach waters may be closed, but our central or North Beaches may not be impacted. This will greatly benefit access for our community. Cross-border water pollution is a matter of huge importance to the city, and we will continue to keep you updated. To learn more about the plan to address water pollution, visit our city website. Please join us at a ceremonial christening of our new public safety vessel on Tuesday, June 20th at 1.30 p.m. at the Glorieta Bay boat launch. Our public safety vessel is responsible for patrolling Glorieta Bay and the coastline, providing emergency services, boating patrol, and other related maritime services. We hope to see you there. The Department of the Navy is hosting a public meeting in Coronado to prepare their environmental impact report that will study and increase the number of days three aircraft carriers can be in port in the Coronado at the same time. They're going to study a time period of up to 180 days. The current limit is no more than 29 days per year. One of the three public meetings will be held in Coronado at the Community Center on Wednesday, June 28th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. We encourage the community to attend to learn more about the proposal and to offer comments on impacts for the Navy to study. Residents may also submit written comments for consideration by July 24th. Check out our city website for information about the study and how to become engaged in this process. Unfortunately, our summer shuttle is experiencing a delay due to a driver work stoppage against the Metropolitan Transit System's contracted service provider. The summer shuttle service helps residents and visitors get around town during the summer season where public parking is very limited. The city is monitoring the stoppage and is in communication with the transit district on a new launch date once resolution has been reached. To keep updated, check out our city website or our social media channels. Gather up your family and friends and head to the movie on the bay on Friday, June 23rd at Tidelands Park. In partnership with the Port of San Diego, our recreation department is hosting the family favorite movie, Finding Nemo, which starts at 8.15 p.m. Set up your chairs and snacks and enjoy an entertaining evening under the stars. And this next project is a smaller one, but will make a big difference to our resident kayakers and visitors. Our public services crew recently made repairs to our public kayak launch ramp located at the Glorieta Bay boat launch. New handrails and a solar lamp were installed just in time for the busy summer season. And would you like to add a new pet to your home? This week's pets of the week are Ruby and Simba. Whether you feel like walking, running, or relaxing in the shade, Ruby is 100% on board. Ruby is a happy and smart dog with unique skill for catching treats in the air. Simba is a German Shepherd mix who will be a great addition and a loyal friend to his adopted family. To learn more about these wonderful pets and other animals available for adoption, call Paws of Coronado, which operates the city's animal care facility. And for more information on these news updates and other events, please check out the City Manager's update on our city website.